A siren sounded and steel workers gathered outside their factory. They were responding to a video message by the billionaire industrialist Rinat Akhmietov, who called on them to rally against pro-Russia separatists. Is looting in cities and taking peaceful citizens hostage a fight for the happiness of our region? No. It's a fight against the people of our region, a fight against Donbass. It's genocide of Donbass, and I'll not allow them to destroy Donbass. About a thousand people took part in the rally. The factory director warned them that breaking away from Ukraine would be disastrous for the economy and they could lose their jobs. The workers listened and clapped politely at the appropriate moments. For many months, Rinat Akhmietov has kept his cards close to his chest, not stating overtly whether he was with the separatists or the government in Kiev. Now at last he has made his position clear. He's in favour of remaining within a united Ukraine. At the same time, another rally was taking place in the regional capital, and even fewer people turned out. But the rallies may not fully reflect the influence of Akhmietov, who employs more than a quarter of a million people in the region. The fact that he has now taken a position will strengthen the central government, will strengthen the, um, uh, the new Ukraine that is now emerging, and it will also mean that... Um, uh, probably the turnout at the presidential elections uh, next Sunday will be higher than people were earlier um, assuming. At the headquarters of the so-called People's Republic of Donetsk, pro-Russia activists were not impressed by Akhmietov's warnings of imminent economic disaster. I never thought he could betray us like this. He sold out. He used to be normal. I think we can fit ourselves by ourselves. I think we will join with Lugansk. Our two regions are supporting the economy of the whole country. Ukraine already has serious economic troubles, so it's not in Akhmietov's interests to exacerbate the crisis. Plus, one of the leaders of the separatists has threatened to nationalize his factories if the region breaks away. He may decide dialogue rather than confrontation is the way ahead. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Mariupol.